Yeah, that rocket, as you can see, remains on the launch pad this morning, and it will be there for at least a couple more days. News Six's Eric Von Aiken explains why and what comes next for the historic flight. Good morning to you from a dark and desolate Kennedy Space Center. The few lights around here are the ones behind me brightly shining at the launch pad where as you see the Falcon 9 is still sitting there because last night yet another scrub so that makes two days in a row now the first one was a helium leak during fueling the second one last night was because of what SpaceX calls unfavorable weather conditions so maybe you're saying to yourself why is SpaceX even looking ahead to the end of the mission when this rocket's still sitting on the launch pad? Reason is because these four commercial astronauts are doing two things that either hasn't been done in a long, long time or has never been done. First of all, they're going straight up three times higher than the International Space Station. Well, the second thing, and this is where uh, splashdown matters, is they're doing a spacewalk, the first ever non-governmental spacewalk with these four commercial astronauts. Because all four of them and the capsule will be exposed to the vastness of space and the vacuum of space, they need to pre-breathe oxygen for about two days. So as soon as they lift off, basically trying to get rid of the nitrogen in their bloodstream, much like divers do to avoid decompression sickness, the bends. So because they're using all that oxygen, they only have about five or six days worth of oxygen on board this capsule. That's why SpaceX looking ahead five days to make sure that when that oxygen runs out, they can come home and they can land without big waves in the ocean off the coast of Florida. For now at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Eichen getting results. News 6.